Hello and welcome to Access U TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am in Hamilton and I uh, have foundation class starting tomorrow. I'm very excited. I've got some amazing people coming to play with me. And as you can see behind me and probably hear the goat, let's see if we can get the goat in the, in the view. Um, this class is going rural. We are out in the country and uh, we've even got horses. Say hello to the horses. Setting sun there. So we have animals to share consciousness lessons with. Animals to teach us how to be more conscious. And what can animals contribute to us as we look to expand our consciousness, our awareness? You know, um, Gary Douglas has written a book called Talking to the Animals and uh, teaches classes called Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider. And there's now facilitators all around the world teaching these classes. And um, it's really interesting. I've never really spent much time with horses. I, um, <laughs> I grew up in an orchard in the middle of horse and cow country. Um, but never had a horse of my own, never rode a horse uh, more than maybe freakishly. Got my bike trampled by a horse at one stage. <laughs> so as I was coming out to learn how to uh, feed the animals, I was asking what energy, space and consciousness can my body and I be to have ease with animals for all eternity. Yes, we have a dog. I don't know, where's the dog? And there's a cat up on the post over there. Where is the post? Uh, there she is. Where's my... Up there. Dog showed you. Um, and what I noticed was if I expand it out and, and we do this expansion exercise of access consciousness where you be the space between the molecules of your body and then you expand out to as big as the room you're in and as big as the house you're in and as big as the town you're in as big as the country you're in as big as the planet you're on as big as the universe and as big as the infinite being you truly be and when you be that space wherever you look are you already there? Wherever you be, are you already there? So when you be with animals from that space, it creates so much more ease, joy and glory with animals. And, you know, from that space, you can actually ask them questions in your head. Show them pictures of what you'd like them to do. Um, you know, ask them to contribute, ask them to guide you, give you information. So everywhere you've decided that you can't talk to animals, would you destroy and uncreate that please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pod and pock, all nine, boys, shorts and beyonds. And would you be willing to ask you, the infinite being, what you know about dealing with animals? How to be with certain animals? How much space to give them? How to approach them, if you're going to approach them. If, if it's wise to approach them, what, what will get created if you approach them? And just be. Be the energy, space and consciousness they require of you to have ease with you. Because if you're willing to be the space they require, what can get created? Now, so often, in our everyday lives we contract and we create a space where it's just so dense and heavy the animals are like hey guess what if you expand out it'd be more fun come on nuzzle 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 expand out come on have some fun have some fun yay 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 <laughs> and how often do we go oh stupid dog stupid horse well leave me alone when actually all they wanted you to do is go, ah, oh, thank you. And drop your barriers, expand out, and be you. 
What if the animals are trying to teach us how to be us? Hey, is that what you're showing me? <laughs> so if you were being you, how much more ease with animals would you have? So thanks for joining me here at Access UTV and how much fun can you, your body and the animals have? What else is possible?